to get some revenge from that evening. Easy giveaway! Nightmare at the back for Charleston! And Traeger says thank you very much! This is a guy who's got to attack from the outside in. The opportunity to attack on one-on-one -on -one situations, whether the space was there or not. He had actually started from a central location, but as he drifts back in here, mistake or not, positionally, he is in the right spot. He worked hard, got in the spot, and it worked out for him. Through again, a second opportunity here for Traeger, and stop, rebound, puts it in! A brace in three minutes! The United two, the separation, how? Lady Luck shines bright again, there's still a ton of space in between the two center backs. Not a bad save, even when he sprays it to the side, right where he's supposed to, to be fair. Doesn't have help because Sheldon's so high. Just the numbers right there. That's not even talking about everybody else in front of them that's playing catch up, too. Nice move inside. Opportunity for Apodaca. It sets up for Williams. It's his seventh of the season. Some luck on one end for Atlanta. Williams creates some of his own, and they pull one back. Still one of the main focal points that everybody looks at here is Augie Williams. Just like Traeger, proper positioning in the build here. Romario Piggott actually comes high, and Augie Williams recognizes he's actually got to pull himself further wide. Piggott had actually dropped down in on the back of it. He said, oh, I'm pushing too much. But Augustine Williams had already peeled off to the left and created the chance. Here's Conway. Had a hat trick the first time these teams met. Plenty of space now for me here. Has the option of Conway in the middle as well. Sends it that way. Picture perfect counter from Atlanta. You can see it building from midfield. Conway scores his fourth of the season against Charleston. It's his fifth overall, and four have come against this opponent. Execution for Atlanta United, too. The problem is, is watch this step here. Way too high from Preston Kilwine. He has ventured into no man's land and overexposes the entire back line. Now everybody else is playing catch up. Leland Archer rotates out. The left back, A.J. Patterson, is already very high. Now, Kilwine does a good job of chasing back here, but the damage has already been done. The space is there. You play it down into the corner. Everybody just goes vertical.